Hello and welcome back to another reaction. In this occasion, Nichi Joe episode 17. Uh, I haven't posted anything about Nichi Joe in a couple of weeks. I need to change a little bit in the first week and in the second week because I was so, so busy that I didn't have the time to record the video, to record my reaction and to record my uh, conclusion, my analysis. Uh, it was kind of a busy week. Uh, I did only have like one day to spare. Uh, Tuesday, luckily, I could uh, record uh, One Punch Man. But yeah, it was kind of a weird week for me. Anyway, I don't think you came here to just hear me rambling. Uh, if I don't remember correctly, if I do remember correctly, uh, the last few episodes of Nichi Joe has been with Nano in the school, which is something, again, that I wanted so, so badly. And so far, I love the way they have been adapting Nano to the school. Yes. It's not as seamless as I thought in the beginning. It's not just a perfect adaptation. Just like, yeah, we welcome you and you will not have any, any doubts about yourself. No. But I love this slow transition. Again, Nichi Jo is a very interesting anime for doing that. Because, yeah, at the beginning, in the few first episodes, you just say, oh, random jokes. And I love it. And yes, we still get random jokes. But there is a deeper meaning inside Nichi Jo, which is something I'm very, very grateful for. But anyway, let's just cut this presentation because it's getting way too long and the waiting is way too long. And watch the episode, shall we? Okay, I'm back. I just watched a second time the uh, 17 episode of Nichi Jo. Man, it's so much fun to watch this anime. I really genuinely love this anime. And I love how they portray the relationship between everybody with everybody. Obviously, not everybody knows everybody. But yeah, we kind of have certain point, in certain points, certain relationships that go. And again, a relationship could be friendship, could be love, could be potential love, could be whatever thing. But I love the relationship, the friendship relationship between uh, Mai and between Yuko. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is so much fun to witness. I love how the amount of jokes that Mio is capable of well, giving to just do. And with her deadpan face, it's more hilarious. Because all the expressions, the facial expressions of Yuko make up for that. Jesus, since the first joke. The facial expression and the way that you could speak, it was so much fun and it's so ridiculous. This situation was completely unexpected for me. And yes, even when I know this show is completely unexpected jokes after joke. Yeah, I love this one. And I love the fact that this particular file has the outro and the intro. Man, I love both. The, the intro is not very different than the last time we saw a couple of episodes ago since they changed the, the, the intro and I love it. I love how dynamic all the intros for Nietzsche Joe are. And yeah, it's kind of weird by the lyrics of the, of the songs of the intro are kind of weird because they don't kind of relate so well with what is going on on the screen. But it makes sense, especially for this anime. And I love the visuals, all the visuals that we well, saw in the intro. Anyway, moving forward to that. Uh, again, I love how Nano is adapting herself into these new uh, circumstances. But still, the wackiness of uh, the professor is still on her because she is still kind of going with the wackiness of the professor and yes when she find a crow and I, I don't know how the hell did she capture a crow she just bring 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 it home and they put the scarf or sakamoto again i thought we were going to see or we are we were watching uh, the past we were watching before sakamoto was found by them but no actually the professor just took his scarf and gave it to the crow and i love the voice of the crow and how polite he really is and all the wackiness that ensued that obviously now is kind of worried for sakamoto say oh man give the scarf back yeah it's pretty ridiculous and i don't know how 
Sakamoto acquired said scarf later on. I don't know if the professor made another one or the crowd returned and gave it back. It doesn't make much sense, but yeah, it's very cute, a very cute joke. Very funny joke, because again, the nonsensical things that the professor do with a new robot, a less advanced robot, well, less advanced than Nano, but it's still less advanced. And there is something particular about this crow joke. How dramatic the goodbye was. How dramatic. Oh my god. Like, you were losing somebody forever and you will never see them again. And probably that is true. But again, you're saying goodbye to a crow. I love that contrast. That doesn't make any sense. And the last joke that actually the crowd took the scarf in the end. And even Sakamoto was kind of sad in the moment when you see the freeze frame and you see kind of the sad faces of the tree. Yeah, pretty funny joke, pretty nonsensical, but I love that about the show. And again, these small jokes between the big sketches the like love i think is called the section which of course so far they have portrayed very cute moments very romantic moments very kind of perhaps even cliches of romance that oh this is kind of how the romance should work especially on anime kind of the cliches of the anime romance which is, is still cute that doesn't change the fact that it's cute but I love these little cliches of the co-worker giving coffee and yeah, you kind of see this kind of a flirting way, the, the looks they exchange, very very cute. But you still hear in the background a certain voice that doesn't sound romantic. <laughs> and then in the end the joke was that the boss was trying to fix one of his workers, his co-workers, his I don't know, subordinate, but in the most ridiculous way and breaking this romantic atmosphere that this section was well trying to portray and yes this is a long joke that took them like three episodes because they accustom you to this romantic atmosphere with nothing else going on only the romance in there and then bam the joke i love it i love it and yes the mute joke because they never say any dialogue it's just the background music and they trying to finish this uh, tower of, of cards I love how every little circumstance as well kind of accidents so far well at the beginning were accidents uh, with Nano with the cat and all that and yes it could perturb the perfection that was the pyramid but in the end of course M uh, Mio is one kind of trying to destroy the pyramid <laughs> she didn't manage to do anything and the least thing you could think of that is kind of natural let's say in this circumstance is what is destroying the freaking pyramid <laughs> the falling of the fucking lamp so ridiculous and so much fun and of course we go to the teacher that is kind of in love with the other teacher oh no i almost forgot Another plan of the creepy teacher, of the uh, science teacher trying to capture Nano, which of course fails on the same student than last time. <laughs> and now, really, we saw uh, the teacher that is in love with Sakurai teacher. Again, I kind of learned the name of Sakurai. I don't know why, but the teacher I'm still not. Uh, but yeah. Uh, his love and asking question. He was supposed to be subtle about it. That, oh, would you play... Uh, shogi go or football or soccer go i think it was um but of course the first question he has is there a boy of him involved and yes this is information he already knew i don't know why he asked that <laughs> and i love the crazy the crazy visuals that we saw in here and how he's kind of uh, motivated to join the club as an advisor <laughs> Just before he was kind of cheated, say, oh, I'm going to tell everybody that you like my sister. Uh, but of course, the problem, uh, the problem with the previous student, with the Mohawk student, um, Nakanojo. Nakanojo, again, the same kind of pattern that here, <laughs> we kind of see the same joke, but in a different circumstance. Now he just fell down <laughs> into a hole. 
<laughs> and without hair, and they are going to rescue, but he cannot do some things at the same time. But I know, I love the resolution that I'm not gonna give you any, I'm not gonna tell anybody that you like uh, my sister, but I, I'm expecting you to be my advisor. And of course, the teacher, now that is the responsibility is lifted, he can go and rescue Nakanoyu. The visual that I like about this joke is how he's running fast, obviously he's not, because it's not a slow motion, because the girl is still moving at a normal speed. And when the indication that is on the other side, I love how the lines that portray kind of a speed is moving alongside with the teacher. I love those little details of the joke. We get little jokes about the different mascots of the different characters. First we saw... Uh, the goat, and then we saw the dog, I don't remember the names of these two animals, and then we saw Chi Chi, which is the white cat of Yuko, if I'm not mistaken. And it's a very cute joke that he, he or she cannot enter the bag, and yeah, that's it. It's not a very, it's not a big joke, but cute nonetheless. Then, of course, we saw the real victim or the ideal victim for this science professor, uh, alongside with two extra victims, the teacher and the bow girl. And Nano, he, she really fell down into a hole. But the hole wasn't wide enough for her kid on, the, on her back to fall down alongside with her. And she was safe. So yeah, the trap wasn't well constructed. And the final joke of the normal episode a very long joke that of course the jokes that uh, mio is giving out and of course yuko is calling them out and she doesn't want to do that anymore she's holding back and mio is starting to go and go and go and a lot of jokes are here and the double glasses and that way she is uh, speaking that instead of saying sit down she said sit down and nobody else noticed and just all those jokes, and, and Yuko is trying so hard to hold back and calling them out. Uh, yeah, it's just so amazing, the visual especially, because yes, when I tell you all of these, doesn't sound that interesting. What makes it interesting are the visuals that we were, uh, were given. All the visuals that we saw, all the things, all the crazy things that is happening. And of course, the final moment of this joke, when Mio just memorized the paragraph that she's supposed to be reading. And that is when you can, can contain it no more. She screamed, she memorized it. And the scream was so loud that all the school hear it. A hospital hear it, a lady outside of some place hear it, a dude that was been mugging another dude hear it, everybody hear it. And the visuals in the end, the quality of said visuals, it looks like kind of a magic girl transformation, how satisfied she was. Because yeah. The, this is what makes her happy, to call out the jokes, and why should it stop? It's fun for her, and it's fun for us, so yeah, sure, don't stop. And even when she's so satisfied, I say, oh yes, okay, I don't care anymore, I'm going to wait outside in the alley, well, not in the alley, in the hallway, sorry, and yeah, nobody is even questioned, even the teacher is not mad. Because he's so surprised by this scream. And of course, in the end, uh, Mio said, Oh, I always have contact, so yeah, I don't even need the glasses. And this is kind of a confirmation that, yes, this dynamic they both have are going to continue. It's going to continue in the future. I said the final joke because, yeah, the last, uh, the last joke of the principal episode is not technically a joke. It's just... The professor falls asleep, and it's not that funny, but it's a cute moment here. Then, of course, the uh, final scene uh, <laughs> in which we saw how uh, how Nano carried the professor, and again, a cute scene. And the <laughs> preview of the episode is given by another car. I don't remember which one. Uh, I think it was the Three of, of Spades, I think. 
Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't remember. And that's the episode. There is something else I want to speak about. The outro. Most of the time in a lot of animes, uh, the outro, uh, this is kind of a rule for me. I always listen the intro and the outro once, and then I always skip it when I watch it in private. Um, and that's it, that's how I deal with uh, the situation here. With Nichijo, I don't feel like skipping, and I think that is the second anime I do this. I never skip the intro of Nichijo. When I don't have it in the file, I kind of feel sad. And I never skip the intro of One Punch Man, the season one intro. Never. The outro is another story. The outro I listen once and I always skip it. Even with One Punch Man. The outro One Punch Man is a lot more calmer. You listen to it once and that's it. With Nichijo, is a special case. Nichijo always surprised you in the outro. Perhaps in season one wasn't that surprising only a few times, but they changed the, the outro. Not much. I don't think the lyrics change, but the rhythm changed. And that's what makes it special. And this one, this outro especially, I couldn't skip it even the second time I watched the episode. When I watched it the first time, yeah, I haven't skipped a couple of them. When the kind of jazz rhythm happened in the first half of the uh, of these uh, of the Nichijo anime, and this one. But when I I skip it the second time I watch it, when I watch it in private, when I watch it without the camera turned on, I skip it. But in this one, in this case, I didn't. I genuinely love this outro this outro is the best outro i have heard so far even with my hero academia which had very good outros i think this is better yes the outro of the rpg of my hero academia is pretty good but i just keep it about the second time i watch it once and that's it it's great it's fantastic but this one the music that was in this one i could not skip it even the second time I watched the episode, when I say, say before, when the camera wasn't turned on. And that speaks volumes of the imagination of Nichi Jo. I love this series. I, this series is fantastic. The jokes that it has, the intros and the outros are fantastic. And the deeper meaning behind the jokes. I love it. I love it. I this has become my one of my favorite animes, and I say this a lot. I know, but jeez, why I didn't watch this before? This is such a fantastic anime. I I cannot stop praising this anime. I love it. I love Nichijo. Anyway, I think I exhausted the topic of this episode. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I have nothing else to say, so thank you for your attention and see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, give it a like so the algorithm from YouTube will help me out. And check my other videos, share them, and also, why not subscribe to my channel and join this community? And as always, I want to thank you for your attention, your likes, and even your dislikes, your comments, which is something I always look forward to read, and yeah, once more, thanks, and see you on the next one.